Hey YouTube, welcome to this new flyer Photoshop tutorial. Let's get started. Step 1. Create the background. Let's start by creating a new document. Make sure that, both width and height, are 4 by 6 inches. With 300 resolution. And CMYK color mode. Then, click Create. Press Ctrl plus R to show the ruler. Grab four guides to the four edges. From Image, Canvas Size. Increase both width and height by 0.25 inches. Change color to white. Then, click OK. This will extend the canvas in each side. The area outside the guide, is the bleed area. Never add any text, or important information inside this area. Now, let's add a gradient layer. Choose any two colors gradient. Then start editing it. Double click the color stops to edit them. Add these color values. Or you can create your own gradient. It's up to you. Click OK. Then, make it linear, with 90 degree angle, and 100% scale. Then click OK. Create a new layer. Pick your brush tool. Choose the soft round brush. Then, increase the brush size. And change the color to white. Click to paint. Then, change opacity to 20%. Now, select the pen tool. Go to options panel, and choose shape. With any fill color, and no stroke. Start creating a shape like this. Double click the shape layer to add layer style. Check gradient overlay. And start creating a gradient like this. You can use these color values. Or use any colors you want. It's up to you. Make it linear, with 90 degree angle, and 100% scale. Click also on drop shadow. This is to add a shadow like this to the shape. Please enter these values. Then click OK. Now, select all layers and drag to group them. Name the group, Background. Step 2. Add the juice. Now, go to File, and choose Open. Then, double-click the image to open it. Since our image is blurry here, the best choice to isolate it, is to use the Pen Tool. Now, select the Pen Tool, and make sure that, you're drawing a path. Then start selecting. Let's speed things up. Now, right-click inside the path and choose, Make Selection. Make Radius 0, and click OK. Click on the mask icon, to create a mask from your selection. Select the mask, then press Ctrl plus I, to invert the selection. Right-click the mask, and choose Apply Mask. 
Now, drag your layer, and drop it into your main document. Press Ctrl plus T, then, Ctrl plus zero. And start resizing and positioning your layer, as you can see. Right click and choose Flip Horizontal. Now, go and select the ellipse tool. Start drawing an ellipse like this. Change color to black, with no stroke. Right click and choose, convert to smart object. Add some blur to it. Keep radius between 40 to 50 pixels. Then, click OK. Change opacity to about 70%. Now, let's decrease the glass contrast a little bit. Make sure to clip mask it. Decrease contrast to 30. This is to decrease the color intensity. Select all layers, then drag to group them. Step 3. Add the main elements. Open the other two images, each in a new separate document. Since strawberry has a white color reflection, which is similar to the background color. Best choice here, is to use the pen tool. I have previously made my selection. From path panel, I can find the path that I have made. With your pen tool selected, after making your own path, right click inside it, and choose make selection. Keep radius zero, then click OK. Create a mask. Select it, then press Ctrl plus I. Right click and choose convert to smart object. Drag and drop into your main document. Press Ctrl plus T, then adjust size and rotation. I'm assuming that the light source is coming from that direction. Now, press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the strawberry. Take that duplicated one, and resize it like this. Select both layers, and drag below the juice group. Select that small one, and add some blur to it. Just go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Change Radius to 6.5 pixels. Then click OK. Since both strawberries are the same, I will flip the big strawberry, to make both look different. Just press Ctrl plus T, then, right click and choose, Flip Vertical. Select both layers and group them. Now, let's add leaves. Since our background has a white color, and the leaves has only a green color, the best choice here is to use the color range. Select your layer, then choose color range. From that drop down menu, choose sampled color. With the eyedropper tool, pick the color you want to remove. Change fuzziness to 110. Then click OK. Click on the mask icon. Select the mask, then press Ctrl plus I, to invert the selection. Right click the mask and choose, Apply Mask. Now, I want to take these three leaves. Now, grab the polygonal lasso tool. Make a selection around the leaf you want. Now, select your main layer, then press Ctrl plus J, to take what you have selected to a new layer. Again, select the leaf. Select the main layer, then Ctrl plus J. Again, select the last one. Select your main layer, then press Ctrl plus J. 
Now, select all three layers, then drag and drop to your main document. Press Ctrl plus T to resize them. Check Auto Select. Then adjust all three leaves position, size, and rotation. Create a new layer below them. Rename it Shadow. Pick a black brush. Decrease both opacity and flow. Start painting below the leaves to add shadow. Increase opacity and flow to 10% to be more effective. Increase the shadow under the leaf tip, to give an impression that it is touching the cup at this point. Again, repeat the previous steps. Press Ctrl plus Z, to undo a step if you want. Add a general shadow under this one. Now, as you can see, this soft shadow gives us a great 3D look, to our composition. Select all and drag to group them. Rename the group, Leaves. Now, let's add some shapes. Under your custom shapes, from this little gear, you can import the shapes that we will use. I have made these shapes specially for this tutorial. Just double click to import it. Now, pick a shape. Then, hold shift key, and start drawing. This is to keep the aspect ratio. But first, let's check the settings. Make sure that, you are drawing a shape not a path, with a white fill color. And no stroke. Let's add some shapes. Pick a shape, then, hold the shift key when drawing. Make sure that, every shape is in a separate layer. Select the shape and press Ctrl plus T. Rotate and place at the top left corner. Now, select all layers and group them. Rename it Shapes. Step 4. Design the header. Select the Type tool. Drag a guide to the center. Start typing. Select the text with Ctrl plus A. Then, change font to After Night. And color to white. And size to 15 points. Center the text. Now, add another text. Presence. Use the next bold font. And from the character panel, make text uppercase. And change spacing to 700. And size to 7 points. Center the text. 
add drink name text. Uncheck uppercase. Then, make spacing 0 again. And, increase font to 38. Now, go to Custom Shape Tool. Choose this Paint Splash. Hold the Shift key, to keep the aspect ratio. Drag it below the Restaurant text layer. Now, double-click its layer to open layer style. Add a gradient overlay. Add a red gradient like this. Make sure that, there's no alerts here. Step 5. Add footer and price. Since adding text is a very time-consuming process, I have added the header and price in a custom PSD for you. After opening it, you'll find a very simple footer text, and a simple shape for the price label. You can check them for further understanding. Now, drag and drop both groups, to your main document. With your both groups selected, uncheck Auto Select, then, start positioning them. That's it. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more free tutorials.